sex is an inherited disease, in which the nerve cells deteriorate, and eventually die. All problems associated with Tay-Sachs are caused by the malfunctioning of a protein, which is called hexosaminidase A, or hex A. The protein has two parts, alpha and beta subunits. There is also an activator subunit, which can bind to alpha and beta subunits. Normally hex A is found in lysosomes of cells, specifically nerve cells, lysosome stores, and recycles the large molecules of the cells. Hex A breaks down a large molecule, which is called gangliocide, or GM2, needed for making nerve cell membranes. The activator molecule brings the GM2 to the lysosomes, where it binds to alpha and beta subunits. The binding turns on the hex A. Then GM2 molecule is processed into smaller component pieces, to be used again. In people with Tay-Sachs disease, the alpha subunit of hex A is either missing or not working properly. In a similar disorder, called Santoff disease, the beta subunit of hex A and hex B is the problematic. In both cases, the hex A cannot find and hold GM2 gangliocide brought by the activator. GM2 gangliocide cannot be broken down and they accumulate in the lysosomes. The nerve cell swells up as GM2 gangliocide accumulates. Since the GM2 gangliocide cannot be recycled, its availability for repair or making new cell membrane is limited. The buildup is also toxic for the nerve cells. The alpha subunit of hex A is encoded by a gene called hex A, on chromosome 15. There are more than 90 mutations of this gene, that can cause Tay-Sachs, which causes change in DNA sequence. Teenagers and adults with Tay-Sachs have hexaprotein that work, but not very well. Their symptoms and the progression of their Tay-Sachs can vary, depending on their hexa activity, 